11 October is a day set aside to celebrate the power of girl child and highlight the barriers they face. Ufuk Dialogue, in collaboration with Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution and Muslim Student Society, celebrates the International Day of the Girl Child with the theme Digital Generation, Our Generation. Abose De Awodola, who represented the Director General of the Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution, stated that the voice of girl child should be heard as survival of the girl child in the country is difficult. The rights and privileges of a girl child are restricted in so many ways, especially in sectors such as education, health, community life, and so on and so forth. A high percentage of them are exposed to dangers in the society. Many African cultures are patriarchal and value men more than women. In many places, there are still the belief that educating the male child is better investing than educating the girl child. They see it as a taboo because they have a strong notion that she will end up in a man's house where she will be subservient. Painfully, this culture is still believed in some climes. If women are not seen as valuable in peacetime, then their value is even further diminishing in conflict or war and also in peace processes. Therefore, advocating and prioritizing quality education for the gay child is the best form of empowerment we can give to them. Salama Tumaina, the coordinator of women's platform, called on Nigerians to ensure an average girl child has access to technology and also make a girl child dream achievable. It is extremely important for every child, regardless of gender, and the reluctance or outright refusal of parents or the society to educate the girl child denies the most needed skills and knowledge, which are very important in our growth and advancement in today's world. Technology has been integral part of the developed world for ages and is fast becoming a part of ours. Through search engines and social media, the internet is fast becoming more accessible, yet extremely difficult for those in rural communities and for those who are living below the basic standard of living. Technology is very important, especially in the area of education, because it provides the girl child with the access to limitless online materials and enables her to carry out a wider range of researches, therefore easing her the burden of the ever-increasing demand for academic excellence. The managing director of Nigerian Tulip International School, Fezula, said treating a girl child well will go a long way to fix the problem in the world. If we are able to fix the problems caused by human beings in this world, we are going to be able to fix all the problems. Because there is no single problem that is not caused by human beings. And the essence and the starting point is the girl child. Because they are the future mothers, and the way we are treating them, we also have a responsibility as adults, as the parents. Because if we treat them with love and respect and dignity, then they are going to grow with this love and dignity and self-respect. So if they, children do not have their self-respect, if they are violated, abused, if they are exposed to all kinds of violations and then uh, bad behavior, and as a result, they are not going to have self-respect to themselves. And when they are having some violence in the future, they will not know how to stand against it because they will lack the self-confidence. So if we show the self-confidence and self-respect to them now, then they are going to be able to show to their husbands, to anyone all around. Dokas or Lariwaju, Voice TV, Nigeria.